I also believe the time has come for this institution to become more inclusive so that it can better respond to the needs of today's world. Members of the UN Security Council, including the United States, should consistently uphold and defend the UN Charter and refrain, refrain from the use of the veto, except in rare, extraordinary situations, to ensure that the Council remains credible and effective. That is also why the United States supports increasing the number of both permanent and non-permanent representatives of the Council. This includes permanent seats for those nations we have long supported and permanent seats for countries in Africa, Latin America, and the Caribbean. The United States is committed to this vital work. In every region, we pursued new, constructive ways to work with partners to advance shared interests, from elevating the Quad in the Indo-Pacific to signing the Los Angeles Declaration of Migration and Protection at the Summit of the Americas, to joining a historic meeting of nine Arab leaders to work toward a more peaceful, integrated Middle East, to hosting the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit in this December. As I said last year, the United States is opening an era of relentless diplomacy to address the challenges that matter most to people's lives, all people's lives, tackling climate crisis, as the previous spoker, speaker spoke to, strengthening global health security, feeding the world, feeding the world. We made that priority, and one-year leader were keeping that promise. 